I'm pretty excited about showing you how to use my Pro Performance Optimizer for the 1020 calculator. This basically came from 15 years of testing athletes. I went through all the numbers. And in the last three, I've realized it's the most advanced tool that I can find to predict what program you need now and then retest people what program you'll be doing next. This program works from my Olympic and world champions down to 12-year-old athletes. Um, reported by many people that this is highly effective for high school and youth sport athletes. So here's what you essentially do. Essentially, you'll use the uh, the tool, the, the web page, and you, you'll basically have somebody run, and I'll show you how to get a time. Uh, there's multiple options for that. 10-yard sprint and then a 20-yard um, a sprint. And, for example, if these are the times that they ran, ran in their 20 yards, you you realize that they need a speed strength program. Um, if uh, let's say they ran a two five, you can see how the outcome changes, and they t they need a strength program. Now with the optimizer tool, you can see that um, I have options for you to do my generation four strength programs. And when you get a strength reading here, you click on that link, and it will push you to your programs. I have all to, you know all types of different programs for football, four, five, three day. I will have six soon. I have lineman programs coming soon. But you can see your your sport on here, the type of program you want to choose based on your on your schedule. Now remember if you if you run a um if it tells you a different outcome because of your split times then you click on the different outcome and it'll give you again this is a speed strength program it's it's about the same level of weightlifting it's just you're moving weights really fast you're doing a few more plyometrics in the weight room you're always running in every program that we have so whether you give speed strength or a strength program um, or a power program there'll be three types of programs that you get not sure i'll be able to guess um there i actually guess so um based upon your time you click on that and then this is a power program so there's really three different programs you can get from using this power um, optimizer and then you can choose from what program you may need so if you're using let's say the the uh, multi-sport athlete program because you're a multi-sport and you want to do that mainly in the off season then then what happens is you basically have between the three four five days you'll have up to 36 different programs that you can pick from based upon what results you should have from the um, power optimizer, pro uh, performance optimizer. So here's how you get your times. One option, if you have timing gates, most people don't have that at their house. Uh, most parents or, or coaches wouldn't have that around. Uh, so that's one option. You can just put in your split times. It's really easy. You can use a legit handheld option. Um, um, stopwatch. I, if you're going to do this and not do the test at one time, I would run, I would test the 10, get about three times, get your best time, put that in, run the 20 yard dash, get for two more times with plenty of rest. I'd say a minute and a half to two minutes in between each one of these, get the best two times, the best time of the 20, the best time of the 10 and put it in the, the, uh, performance optimizer and then see what the results are. So um, do not use your phone timer. And then when you're using a timer like this, and these are fairly cheap on Amazon, 10, 12 bucks maybe at the most, do not use your thumb. Your thumb is the slowest. Use your pointer finger to stop and start that button. Um, now, the one I would recommend mostly, it's the most accurate, and it's it, it's uh, it'll be the easiest once you download the app, is to basically just film a 20 meter, 20 or 20 yards with your um, phone, and with that being said, then what you can do is obviously you'll just mark, you'll have markers at 0, 10, and 20, have the athlete run it, and then what you would do is you'll go to, um, and, and here's an example, you can see him run, take off, you would start the timer, you, you would uh, download an app, and then you have him run the 20-yard dash, film the whole thing all the way through, and then you can see with that side view of the 20 meters, you can plug it. Once you have that, I would obviously um, use the zero and 10, the 20 and the the, uh, the markers at those three areas. What you'll do with that time frame is, I'm sorry, is download an app then, and you can use stopwatch video, 
a stopwatch camera and this these links will be in the slide which is in the YouTube video below uh, or in the YouTube uh, descriptions any one of these three can be used to get the exact times of your person running to find out which is the most important program they need to get better okay you'll place it in the, again you place the times in the the performance optimizer and then what happens is you will come back and um, and run a power program, a strength program, or a, a speed strength program. Now, understand what may happen is you may get a strength testing three times in a row. So you may actually do nine weeks of strength work, especially if you're a young athlete. But here's the catch. The secret is that you need strength to get faster, a strength program. Now, all the programs I offer do have running in them and speed development so um, it's not that you won't get faster by doing strength because when people in this program get uh, get a strength result then that's the one thing that will get them faster and then you can always just question do three weeks get some testing in the next Monday test see what you are and people are like hey I got another strength reading but I did get two or three tenths faster in my 20 yard dash which is really really effective so are you getting faster is the key um basically this is essentially my question I've always been how do i know what the next program is to make them better and this tool the pro performance optimizer finds your weakest link and then you train that to get better your weak links after 20 years of coaching limits your developments and progress so when people go uh, and stop progressing at getting better it is because there's weak links and this tool helps find those weak links so that's the um, main gist of the pro performance optimizer you can uh, click on the link below and find the article about this also